between March 5th and March 12th, I took only public transit in LA, trying to go to different spots every single day. And on the seventh day, I had one destination, and that was the Oscars with my dad. This is not the first time we've done this. Uh, we've done it two other times um, where we've taken the public transportation to the Oscars. When I was 14 years old, my mom wasn't able to go to the Oscars that year. And so my dad took me as his date. And a couple days before, he walked into my bedroom and he said, do you want to make a statement? And I said, yeah, I'd love to make a statement. And he said, okay, we're going to take public transit to the Oscars. And then again in 2018, my mom didn't want to go to the Oscars. And I said, I volunteer. Um, and we did the same thing. When we came out of the uh, station, we actually had to like flag down a security person to be like, hey, we have tickets. And they're like, no, you don't. And we're like, no, I, we swear we do. We're not just dressed like this for no reason. My hope is that the takeaway from this series is that A, Public transportation exists in Los Angeles and it's far more accessible than the average perception. And B, no matter what your tax bracket is, no matter if you need to or not, public transportation is a universal good. And I think that those who do have more means and do have more privilege participate in it. It's a service that you will be providing for everyone. If you're going to be taking the red line from Union Station to the Valley, it's going to be a lot quicker at 5 p.m. And it's unfortunate that the people who need public transportation in Los Angeles are the ones that are keeping it going. There is this big stigma uh, surrounding public transportation in Los Angeles that it is only something you take if you have to, uh, that if you are deprived of a car. Part of my mission in doing this project was I wanted to change that around. And I know from looking at different climate studies that if we are going to meet our climate goals, uh, we are going to need to take public transportation. The subways in Los Angeles run on electricity, which if you're a part of the California power grid is a lot of renewable energy. So when you are taking that service downtown, you A, are participating in green power, and B, your fraction of that power is far less than if you were to power your own private vehicle to wherever you're going. You know, if I even just motivate one person to take public transit in Los Angeles, that is just one more rider that contributes to greater usage across all lines. To know that this many people care when watching my TikTok, that millions of people watched it and thousands of them shared it has been a greatly positive thing.